Moving to Japan has definitely been one of the most anxiety inducing and I think scariest experiences of my life. Like I've moved countries before. Like I, I originally, you know, I was born in Denmark and I moved to the UK for work. Lived there for four or five years. And that move was fine, you know. Moving from a European country to another European country is, is not that big a deal. Of course, it's still a move, but moving to Asia and moving to Japan is, it's like, it's a whole nother beast. I think the majority of people that, you know, move to Japan, they've probably all come through JET, like the Japanese language program, but and I think that's the most common, or maybe they have like a partner from Japan or something like that. What we chose to do, me, my girlfriend and my business partner, like we've been living in London for four or five years, yeah. And we just wanted to try something new and Japan seemed like an interesting fit because we had some interesting going here and it's an interesting country. Like I first came here seven or eight years ago, I think, where I did an internship and ever since then, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd always wanted to come back, like, somehow. But I never really... I never really knew how. I've, I've quit my job, I, I run my own company now, so everything sort, sort of just seemed to fall into place, and so we decided to move to Japan. But there's, there are definitely challenges when it comes to moving to a country where, like, as foreign as Japan, and you have no connection to it really. Obviously I still have some connection in terms of where I did my internship and I worked before, but like when you move to another, let's say, European country or, or English speaking country, the challenges are quite different. And like when I first moved from Denmark to the UK, it wasn't really that big of a deal because, you know, I could store a bunch of stuff at my parents' place and, you know, whenever I would go back, it's like a two-hour flight, I would just bring over some more stuff. So, not that big a deal. And, you know, I had work lined up for me in the UK as well. So, you know, there was a purpose, like a real purpose to going there. Coming to Japan, that was quite different for me. I don't know, you're flying to the other side of the world and... You can only really bring a limited amount of stuff with you. So we had to throw most everything out, you know. Sold my bed, my TV, threw out a bunch of clothes. And all I could really bring with me was like two suitcases worth of stuff. And so it really forces you to reprioritize your life, cut down on, on, on what you really need. And I think that was like an interesting challenge of, of moving here. And I definitely think the JET program is going to be the way to go for most people because first of all it gives you colleagues, it gives you a place to work, they sort out your visa, everything. Like if you go here by yourself there's a lot of practicals that you have to take care of. Like right now we're on a working holiday visa and you know it's a year long but you're not really sure what's going to happen after that. So it's a little... You don't want to commit too hard because you don't know if you can stay in the country after you know after the first year but there are other aspects that make it really hard as well like you know you leave your friends and family behind and you know depending on the relationships you have you might need to give those up you know that's i think that's a thing that maybe a lot of people don't really talk about you know when they decide to move here because the truth is you're really far away. You're really far away from everyone you know and everyone you love. Um, and the time zones make that particularly challenging. You know, I think there's something like a seven, eight, nine hour time difference between here and, and most of Europe. So, you know, that's definitely something to consider as well. It means that, you know, when you're awake, everyone else is asleep. And when they're asleep, you're awake, you know. so. Communicating is, is definitely, it takes effort and this is something you have to be on top of all the time. But living in Japan is so interesting compared to elsewhere I've been. Also because like obviously it's different when you live somewhere versus if you're just visiting. Like living here in Japan, there's all the bureaucratic stuff you have to deal with all of a sudden. Like you need to find an apartment and you need to sign contracts, you need to move into the ward office, all that kind of stuff. Those things can be quite tricky, 
if uh, you don't speak Japanese, and I don't really speak Japanese. You know, when all that is said, like in many ways, Japan is a, you know, it's a pretty magical country. It's, it's unlike any other country I've ever been to, and the people here are amazing. The food is amazing, though you might find it a little hard to like eat if like if you if you want to get something that's not just meat. I found that to be a real challenge, you know. I don't I don't solely eat meat or vegetables or whatever, but you know, mixing up the diet can be can be a little challenging sometimes. Because most of what you find here, like restaurant wise restaurant wise, like it's it's amazing food. Like it's some of the best food I've ever had and I love Japanese food. But you know, unless you can afford to go out and eat sushi every day, um, finding that variety, finding food that's not filled with salt, fat, sugar, um, that's that's definitely a challenge as well but like with all of those things you know going to Japan I think is that something you want to do or other people want to do that's definitely something you should try to pursue as for myself um, my story my way of getting here is probably a little unusual you know it's as I said most people do come here on the jet program or they have a partner um, I have my own business it allows me the freedom to to go around it's something I've worked hard on for the last five or six years and I just kind of felt that why be in one place when we can go and explore the world there's so much it has to offer and having my business has been the thing that sort of liberated me the most I think the business side of things is something I would love to talk about at some point like I thought I would just start off by introducing you to Japan and some of the hardships some of the good parts about moving and living here you know like I said it's a challenge it's but nothing if everything was easy it was never gonna be fun and moving here has definitely also been one of the most fun experiences of my life if you are serious about moving country um, or moving in general it's I can definitely recommend it it's you know I've moved country twice now and both times it's been challenging it's been hard it's it's not like an immediately fun experience because um, there is always something you leave behind there's always a price um, to moving especially when you move that far when you move country but on the upside like you get to meet so many new people experience different kinds of cultures um, have experiences you wouldn't have otherwise experiences you couldn't find anywhere else like because even when you meet people from other countries in your home country you know they start to not censor themselves but change they adapt to the culture that they're in now and experiencing the cultures like firsthand in the country I think is one of the more like rewarding experiences of moving country and you know anytime you do something that is out of your comfort zone which moving country let me tell you very much is and I think it is for most people every time you do something out of your comfort zone there's always like a reward at the end or midway through or right at the beginning I don't know it's it's almost never an entirely bad thing um, it's almost never like bad at all because it forces you to change it forces you to look at things differently and I think it's like one of the best ways to can grow as a person so far my stay here has been nothing but amazing well scratch that except for the first two or three weeks where I was like panicking over my entire life and uprooting everything finding an apartment not speaking the language all that kind of stuff aside from that it's been really great you know <laughs> but there's I guess there's always that like initial panic my point being that the people here are super welcoming, the culture is amazing, um, Japan does a lot of things differently, things we don't do in the West, maybe it's something I'm, I'm gonna talk about it like in another video or something, but you know, it's, I think there's a, there's a reason why there's like this mystical thing about Japan and everyone wants to go to Japan. Moving here is a, it's an experience, it's a humbling thing. You know as it would be moving anywhere i think so if you're serious about it you know maybe check out the jet program figure out if there's another way you can come here and maybe just go for it 